Hello everyone and welcome back into the new shop. I hope you all are doing well. One of the channels you've probably seen is Alec Steele. Now he's a blacksmith, YouTuber, knife maker, and one of the videos he did maybe a month ago was making a small batch of items that he sold on his website that he made in a day in promotion of another company in order to promote entrepreneurship and business and that kind of thing. And after seeing what the video was about, I thought, hey, what the heck, you know, I'll buy one of those items that he just made and it will be cool to have a nice thing made by Alec. And this this is what he ended up making in the video and this then allows you to open a door handle. You can also push things, pry things, that kind of thing. And this is nice though because of the current pandemic that is going on, your hand won't be touching the doors. Now did I need to buy this? No. Is it an extremely useful thing that I just had to have? No, but it's the idea of supporting another craftsman, Alec, he's a great guy and I thought, hey what the heck, you know I'll buy one. And then I realized, hey, you know, I could actually use this in something. So after purchasing the one steel hook, I decided to buy three more so that I would have four. There would be a perfect project, especially for the new shop, that I could use these with. How cool would it be in the office, maybe right here or right here, to have just like a simple coat rack that I could put coats, extra shirts, that kind of thing, and have it right here, you know, where I would use it every day. However, there is one problem with this. The bandsaw, the jointer, the planer, the table saw are all off limits. And that is because I don't have 220 in the shop yet. The sub panel right here is hopefully going to get a 220 circuit installed, but I don't have that right now to mill the lumber for this project. I can probably use the bandsaw, the drill press, and the miter saw, along with some hand planes and other hand tools, and just kind of enjoy it because a nice hand tool project is something I haven't done for quite a while, so this should be exciting. So I thought to myself, what could I use that would accompany the steel very well? And I really realized, well, ash would because, I mean, hammers are made with a handle that is made out of hickory or ash. And then for securing the hooks to the ash, I didn't want to skimp out on just some cheap screws, so I got some nice brass finished screws from Horton Brass online. They are not sponsoring this video, but they are high quality screws. So these are all the materials we're going to be working with. So let's get going on the first project in the new shop. So looking down on the rack, this is kind of what I'm going for. Something that kind of complements the shape of the steel hook in the shape of the wood. So this would kind of be like that with the brass screw going through there. And it kind of sits on the back piece here to prevent it from going down. And then this piece right here along with this piece right here are going to be joined together right here probably with like a, a dovetail or a dado or something like that. The spacing in between each hook is going to be about six inches. That way you can have like a hat or a coat or something hang on there and then not have the thing next to it be too close. And then on the ends right here and over here we have three inches that will put our whole thing right here at 24 inches. We need this piece along with this piece that's two. That means we need a 25 inch piece here and here. So let's make those cuts now. So with our two pieces cut to length and that dado cut in there, we can get a better idea as to how our hook now is going to be placed inside of these two pieces. When I ripped this piece down on the bandsaw to three and a half inches, there was an off cut that is going to be the perfect size for the pieces that are going to actually join to the hooks. And that is this piece right here. So I'll probably make a template first and then trace that onto here and cut these out on the bandsaw and I'll need four of them. So let's go ahead and make that template.
So I think I'm gonna have the supports in their spots like that and then have each of the hooks offset on the left side. Good goodness, I have to say you guys, my hand tool skills are extremely rusty. But this was a good project to kind of get going, you know, back in the rhythm, fire that part of my brain that, you know, works the chisels and the hammers like that. And it was nice though because it was just a couple of simple dados. The first one I ended up doing with the drill, I don't really know why because then after that I quickly realized, oh I could just use the router and route it out, make it nice and flat. So I used that for then the other three and that worked out pretty well. But yeah, I think the last project I used chisels in like a hand tool way was maybe like four months ago, five months ago even. I miss this guys, I really do. I've done so many, you know plywood projects and built-in cabinets and all that stuff over summer and the hand tools I have to say these last couple days have been feeling really good so now that we got this completely square I think I'd actually like to add like a bull nose to it but not with the router because I think that would look too uniform for something that you know is really organic and like these pieces aren't even exactly flat because I didn't flatten them on the planer so what I'm thinking is like with the hand plane I could you know go on both sides and really get like a nice subtle bull nose that you can't really get with the router bit. So now I'm slowly coming back up to center and now I'm gonna go back on the other side. See how we're looking here? Oh, I really like that, that's cool. All right, let's see where that just put us. You know guys, that's pretty good. And just as I was tapping in this one support piece, I ended up chipping off one of the corners right here. I could just sand that down and make it look half decent, but I'd rather just remake the piece because that way they all look the same. So let me just remake one of these really quick. So that's gonna wrap up here the first project in the brand new shop. It was pretty fun and it's kind of unique. It had a little bit of a story behind it. I'm glad that I took the time to share it with you guys. So if you did like it, I would encourage you to hit the like button and also subscribe and also turn on notifications so that when you see everything else happening here in the shop, you actually get notified. So I think that's pretty much all I have for you guys for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will catch you in the next one.